Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, I'm sorry for the delay in this one. Uh, I did, I was going to upload it last week, but I ended up getting ill, so I didn't upload it. I f we found out in the, la in the time since the last one that uh, the PS5 version of FIFA 21 will be out on uh, December the 4th. So I'm kind of spreading out my career mode until then. That's the issue with the, the change of console is that uh, you only have so long before and then we will be doing a PS5 FIFA 21 career mode and yeah. I realised last episode I said that I was on ultimate difficulty, I wasn't. I've, for some reason it gone back to legendary. Uh, I'm going to keep it on that just because the games are a lot more fun. There's a lot more in it um, until I get used to the gameplay and then I think for the rest of this career mode it will be on uh, legendary and then for when I do my next career mode on the PS5 they will be on ultimate. So for this episode, we have Lazio away in the Champions League. Then we have, uh, I think that's Eintracht Frankfurt in away in the league. We're at home in the cup against Stuttgart. And then we're at home to Wolfsburg. And I've also seen um, somebody said in my last video that uh, Julian Brandt should be back up to Marco Royce. Uh, he is... Injured at the moment, but he is back in two weeks from a broken toe. So he will be coming straight back into the side from there. Um, he will be on the bench. I don't think he will be... He won't be on the bench until I can get his sharpness up to around 50. So chances are he won't be on the bench um, until the next... Uh, when we come back from the winter break. I was going to say international break. That's a long ass international break when we come back from the winter break however we start off with a match uh away to lazio if we can win this one then it puts us in a good position considering the fact that we've got club bruges in the last game it puts us provided i don't play a weekend side anyway uh it puts us in a good position to go on to get out of our group so away to lazio in the fifth game of the champions league in the first game of I think we beat them, I think we can say 3-1 or 3-0. Hopefully we can do the double over them. Every time I forget to change the cup kit. So, the Lazio team, I see in there Gosens, I see a Mobile. I saw, yeah, Strakosha in goal, they've got Serbi, Luis Felipe, they've got Lucas Leiva, Milinkovic Savic, they got Correa. They're not exactly going to be easy. Considering it's on Legendary, they probably will be, but they've got a very, very good side. And this is our team lining up. You'll notice some very good names there. We've got Jaden Sancho playing. We have Presnel Kimbembe. We have Rafael Guerrero playing. This is our team, Berkey and Goal. Uh, it's... I'll just say it when it comes up. Uh, so they see the bench. We've got Munier, Kanji. Uh, Pimpembe, Guerrero, Witzel Chan, Sancho Royce, Hazard and Alan Borland. We're going all out with this one. A draw for this one should be enough to see me through the group stage. Right, here we go. Emery Chan to Axel Witzel. He finds Torgan Hazard. Here we go. Cross goal. Saved by Strakota. Marco Royce. Here we go. Emery Chan. Tackled, loses it, no, loses it there. And Correa's now through. Pass Kimpembe, but Kanji with the tackle. Emery Chan finds Witzel, Erling Haaland to Marco Royce. And now here's Erling Haaland through here. He scores, and we are 1 0 up. <laughs> this should be a win now. This is where I would be saying, playing the music if we were at home, but uh, Erling Haaland with his right foot, his weaker foot as well. Good finish. Good ball in from Marco Royce. That's why I like playing them two together. The link-up play is very good. And Erling Haaland, he's 87 rated now for me. And yeah, he's. Um, it looks like we're going through. That is his third goal in the Champions League group stage. Oh no. Ooh, really so bad. That Caro Mobile tackled there by Witzel. Jaden Sancho finds Marco Royce. Cross goal, good save by Strakosha. Alan Holland, don't know why he did it like that, but 
And we turn to Axel Vixel over the top, looking for Erling Haaland. Oh no, it's Marco Royce. Erling Haaland has a shot though. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, Akanji. Oh, good save by Berkey there. Akanji wasn't able to uh, keep hold of the ball. Ball comes through to Correa and he gets the shot away, but Berkey pulls off a very smart save. Right, Gosens. Correa, oh, it's come off Kimpembe. Deflected past the keeper. Good head, I mean, we'll have to take a look at that one again, see if the keeper is going to get it, but the head at deflection off Kimpembe took it past Berkey. And there goes the clean sheet. I think it was going wide, you know. I think that's going to go down as an own goal, isn't it? What's Kimpembe doing? It was going wide. Kimpembe gets his head to it. And it's an own goal. Right, we're going for goal from distance here. Marco Royce. Oh, that's easy for Sakosha. There we go. <sighs> That, that's not the best way to end the first half. Good way to kind of start it-ish. I'm not actually sure what the time was when we scored, but that ending to it was awful. We scored in the 26th minute, so halfway through the first half. And now we have to go and retake the lead again. I definitely feel like I need to make a change, but I don't quite know who to bring on. I know I've got Thomas Delaney on the bench. We've got Gerard De La Feu. Right, Marco Royce can find Torgan Hazard. He's into the box here. He's going to cross it. Surely, Emre Chan. Yes, there we go. And Emre Chan with, I think, his first goal in the Champions League. I know it's not his first goal in all competitions. He did score in the league. But we now have our... Uh, we, we've got our lead back. Hopefully we can hold on to it this time. A good run down the left from Torgan Hazard. Cross in. And Emre Chan, who I was thinking about bringing off for Thomas Delaney. I'm now thinking I might not bring Delaney on just yet. Because uh, Emre Chan was in the right place at the right time. Left-footed volley. Back of the net. First Champions League goal of the season for him. I think. Let's just take a look. Yep, first goal in the Champions League, and that could be the goal that puts us through. Yes, Sancho. Finding Marco Royce. Alan Holland. And find Emery Chan. Back to Alan Holland. Marco Royce. There we go, 3 1. <sighs> and Marco Royce is the one who scores it this time. I think that's his second goal in the Champions League, it might be his first, but he is the captain and he is leading by example here. Good little bit of play with Emery Chan and Erling Haaland, Erling Haaland returns the favour, Marco Royce smashes it into the, the far corner and nothing any keeper can do about that one. 3-1. That's your fans are very, very quiet. And that is his first goal in the Champions League. 20 minutes left with 3-1 up. We're going to bring on Jude Bellingham. We're going to bring off Chan for Delaney. Just because fitness. Um, and then let's bring on Giroud. I'm bringing on Giroud for Erling Haaland. Easy for Vitzel to deal with that. Thomas Delaney through for Olivier Giroud. Easy uh, block there. Axel Witzel into Jude Bellingham. Torgan Hazard finds Rafael Guerrero. Giroud! Wide. Yes, Witzel. Giroud finds Bellingham. He finds Torgan Hazard. And can he get his fifth goal in the Champions League this season? He can. Torgan Hazard, he's not going to miss that in the Champions League. 4-1, I think that was actually the score the first time I played them. Uh, I don't think there was an own goal involved in the first game, uh, which 
yeah, I don't think there was. I think they, if I remember right, it was Correa who scored. I'm not 100% certain on that one. But we've now made it 4-1. Uh, Torgan Hazard, who did score a hat-trick in the last one, has blown, well, he's managed to get behind their defence there and he's not missing them. And there we have it, five goals in the Champions League. He might be the top scorer. I'm not 100% certain. Hattrick does help with that one, but he does love playing in the Champions League and he does love playing against Lazio, so there we have it. We have one game left in the Champions League now, and that is Club Bruges. That should be enough to see us into the next stage of the Champions League, and Lazio will probably be uh, into the Europa League for the, the knockout stages. And there we go. 4-1 win, pretty convincing, now we have the league to deal with. And Sevilla beat Club Bruges 3-1, so that effectively puts us through. Medical staff have cleared Julian Brandt to return after injury, he can now rejoin the first team. Here we go then, match day 13 at the Deutsche Bank Park. Um, should be an interesting game, uh, we, we should, when you look at the starting lineups, we should be able to beat them. Um, but we'll see. Well, Eintracht Frankfurt have the worst home record. That's interesting. They haven't. Oh, they've got goal difference of zero. I'm guessing that means I don't know. Two points all season at home from five games. So we should beat them. We should be able to beat them comfortably. I reckon that Gerard De La Feu will score one in this one. Okay, you know I I don't know how many people I recognise from this Frankfurt team. Ronier in goal. Uh, and Dicker, I think I recognise in Hasabe. Uh, oh, Lab Labiad. Bastos, I know as well. Uh, De Costa. Yeah, there's not really. Oh, they've got Philip Kostic on the bench. Why is he on the bench? That's why they're not picking up points. It's because he's on the bench. Right, Berkey in goal. Schultz, Kempembe, Hummels, Munier. Delaney, Chan. Delefeu, Royce, Sancho. And Erling Haaland up front. So, interestingly, that means. If they've only collected two points, that means two points at home. That means that all the rest of, they've collected way more points away, enough to be mid-table, than they have done at home. Here we go. Emre Chan wins the ball, and immediately Marco Royce is going to try setting Alan Holland away. Ball's just too far wide, but he can get the ball in. Casabe puts the ball out for a corner. Michael Royce did well to win, no it was Emre Chan did well to win that one, the corner was not very good. De La Feu. oh that's a foul is it not? Apparently it was a good tackle but I'm pretty sure he went in from behind there. Delaney wins the ball there, Emre Chan goes for goal from distance and Ranyo, Ranyo uh, catches it easily. Right, here's Cato ball there, up against Hummels, good tackle there by Hummels. Gets taken out by Balde. Emre Chan wins the ball there. Yes, Emre Chan. Oh, ball comes straight through for De La Feu. Great ball to find Erling Haaland. And Erling Haaland puts the ball wide. But that was a very good ball in from uh, Gerard De La Feu to find Erling Haaland. They haven't even got close to our goal yet. There we go, Thomas Delaney. Marco Royce finds Erling Haaland and it's back to Marco Royce and there we go Captain Fantastic puts us 2-0 two two nil. puts us 1-0 up his second goal of the episode that's where I was going with that 1-0 uh, away to Eintracht, Eintracht Frankfurt is pretty much what we should be expecting uh, yeah nothing we, we have in fairness we should have already been about 3 or 4-0 up with the number of chances we've had We've just been putting them wide or, you know, easy. In fact, I'm not even sure if the keepers had to make a save yet. I don't really remember it. I don't really remember us troubling him, but Marco Roy sticks the ball into the bottom corner. I think he has had saves to make, but they've been easy ones. Marco Roy, 34th minute, 6th goal of the season, and he is definitely one of the players who needs to be starting in just about every match. Here we go, Thomas Delaney wins the ball there. And immediately we're going on another attack. Erling Haaland is onside and it should make it 2-0. There we go, too easy. 
Eintracht Frankfurt are a side that struggles at home, evidently two points from the first five games, and you're going to make it two points from the first six home games for them. Thomas Delaney winning the ball high up, put, playing a great ball through for Alan Holland, and he just doesn't miss them. When you put him through one-on-one, -on -one, he will finish them every time. Except for the ones that I miss. Eighth goal of the season for Erling Haaland in the Bundesliga is impressive. Costa, Brennan Silva, Kimpembe winning the tackle there. Ooh. Okay, Kimpembe could be booked. No, apparently not. Good ball in, headed away. I'm not entirely sure who headed it away. Delefeu you can't win the header. Bastos, great tackle by Mats Hummels there. And it's half time 2 0. Um, pretty much as you'd expect against side struggling at home. We're just overpowering them, we're dominating them. And RB Leipzig have drew 1 1 with Bayern Munich. Oh, are drawing 1 1 with Bayern Munich, I should say. Let's bring Marco Royce off for the second half. Let's put Jude Bellingham on. Uh, Jude Bellingham will start the cup match over Marco Royce because we're, we're going to give him uh, give a lot of our first team players a, a chance to rest. But for now, uh, we're going to rest. We're going to rest Marco Royce anyway for the rest of this match. Is Erling Haaland now into Thomas Delaney? Here we go. That's who I was. No, it's not who I was looking for. In the other one, Jude Bellingham now. That's who I was looking for. Does a nice little bit of a nice little turn, gets away from him. Thomas Delaney now to Erling Haaland. Emre Chan will go for goal, but no, nope, Ndeko gets a double block in there. Bastos with a nice little touch there. It's through to Silva, and Kimbembe gets the block in. Bastos though wins the ball for. Frankfurt is to Silva. Delaney goes to ground. Kimpembe, there we go. We get the ball away. And Nico Schultz will carry the ball forward. Finds Erling Haaland, who goes looking for Jude Bellingham. Can't manage to find him, it's Hassa Bay there. Uh, so let's bring on let's bring on Giroud for 20 minutes. And let's bring on. Let's put Rayner out on the right. Even though he will also be playing uh, in the cup game. Gerard De La Feu to take the corner. Drew can't quite manage to get his head on it. Keep comes out and punches. Bellingham gets the ball out wide to De La Feu. Emre Chan with a header. With a header with a volley. Good save by the keeper. Giroud back to Bellingham, good block there. De La Feu finds Giroud, it looked, uh, yeah, I was about to say he looked offside. Good save by the keeper though, good positioning from him. Um, yeah, that, he just stepped up, just stepped up in time to have Giroud, play Giroud offside. Right, here's Bellingham into Emre Chan, straight at Bonio, that was an easy save for him. Bastos finds Sergio, tackled there by Hummels. Plays the ball through for Olivier Giroud. He's just fake shotted and one year with the save. Good save by the keeper again. Uh, without him, this could so easily have been like 10. Right. Right. What they, what's going on here? Oh, so it's full time. 2-0. 2-0. Uh, two, two should have been. Should have been more, but taken off Marco Royce at half time. I'm not sure how many goals we've scored without Marco Royce on the pitch. I'll have to go back and look at them. But um, Erling Haaland getting man of the match. Yeah, easy one. That was pretty much as you'd expect. Max Hummel's coming back into the side and getting a 7.1. And Bayern Munich ended up winning. We are going to be playing this one, but I will only show you the goals for this one because obviously it's a cup match. Um, so before we start, this is the team I'm putting out. Hits and goal. Pishek, Akanji, Zygadu, Schmelzer, Rashal, Dahoud, Parslak, Bellingham, Reiner, and then Olivier Giroud is up front. Um, it looks like they're going to be playing with a similar formation to what uh, 
to what Borussia Dortmund play in real life. But for this one, obviously, uh, yeah, I'm only going to be showing you guys the goals. Or if there's like a red card or anything important happening, uh, it's only, only the cup, the early stages of the cup. Shalinov through for Mihaila, and it's 1 0 to Stuttgart. And yeah, that shouldn't. I mean, in fairness, they've been on the team on top in this one, so can't really complain about that one they've been quite good on the ball um, don't really deserve to be 1-0 down but that's literally the first time that they've got through on goal and shows that uh, Roman Berkey is a much better goalkeeper than Marvin Hicks uh, in, in this game at least I feel like uh, Roman Berkey probably gets to that one but it's 1-0 and Mihaila I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right has uh, just put us 1-0 behind Pass that. Through for Giroud. Oh. Bellingham scores. There we go. I'm going to have to show pretty much all of that straight through because that is a goal. Play the music. So I know it's not going to show the whole thing, but I, I would have shown you the whole thing. The run from Parslak was amazing. Uh, I will take more of that every day of the week. Uh, I actually can't wait to watch that back there, you know. But Jude Bellingham has scored his second goal in the Deutsche Pokal. This is P-Ship. Finds Parslak. Can he go on another one of them amazing runs? He's got all the space in the world here. Gets the cross in towards the back post and deal with it. Rainer, there we go. Why am I not playing Felix Passlack more? Play the music. There we go. It's going for one of them cinematic replays where it spins round. So, I've been thinking this whole time, I'm not getting enough out of Jaden Sancho. I'm not getting anywhere near enough. I know obviously it's only against Stuttgart. I might have to start playing Felix Passlack down the right. Because his balls in have been amazing. His running has been incredible. I'm literally 2-1 up here, and it's thanks to two runs from Felix Passlack. Oh god, they're through. No, they're not. The Kanji can dip half deal with it. Schmaltzer fully deals with it. This ball up to Jude Bellingham. Out wide to Felix Parsak again. He's just going to run straight at Mavropanos. Gets the cross in. Jude Bellingham. 3-1. And there you go. That's how you do it. Play the music. Jude Bellingham, second of the game, third in the cup this season, uh, and we've literally only played, I think this is the second cup game. He's kind of scuffed that one a little bit. It kind of looks, it could well have been that that's what he was intending, but it definitely looked like he scuffed it a bit. Definitely happy with that one. It's another uh, assist for Felix Passlack. That might just be my... my aim now, I might just get the ball down the right and just cross it in because every time we cross it in with him he did it in the last cup match and he's done it twice today. And Sigurdsson scores. Some very uh, good little intricate passes there from them and they're now back in the game. 3-2. And again, Marwin Hitz should do better. And it's going to go 3-3. Three, three. There we go. Clement scores. And yeah, we, we definitely... They've had three shots. All three have been goals. I think. Let's just take a look at the stats. Granted, we've only had four shots. But still, 
Mountain Hits has to do better with all... I mean, the third one, I'll, I'll give him that one. Um, that one is quite in the corner, but the first two he certainly should be doing better with. And, yeah, all of a sudden... I mean, he should probably have a better position in there. He's moved too far over to the, to the right, but... Oh, well. Here we go again. Okay, Castro to Calgary. And it's full time at 1 1. The end of the 90. Is it going to go straight to penalties? Or is it going to go? It's going to go extra time. Good pass to pass lack. There we go. That pass was not lacking. Through to Bellingham. Cuts inside, finds pass back, Giroud, there we go, I, one of them touches I didn't even pass, but play the music. And there we go. Again, Felix Passlack involved. Uh, he manages to get the ball to... I don't even remember who it was now. Um, yeah, Olivier Giroud, 99th minute. That's his second goal in the Deutsche Pokal. And we should, should wi uh, win this now. Right, we should have won it in normal time. Here we go. Surely that's a foul. There we go. Is it a penalty? Is it a free kick? It's a free kick. So, we're going to let Gio Reyna take it. Oh, good save. Into Tobias Rashall. Good ball into Giroud. First touch wasn't great. But there we go. 4 3. Pretty good win. We're into the next round, uh, regardless of how terrible our defence looked. Granted, uh, our defence was solid for the whole game. They had probably four shots. They they scored. I know at one point they'd scored with every yeah six shots, five on target. I suppose our attacking was a lot, but both defences were just terrible, really. Or both sets of goalkeepers didn't have the best of games but we got through we got Bayern in the cup so right when we come back from so we have the next episode which is Bruges in the Champions League Bayern uh, Hertha Berlin and then RB Leipzig and then we eventually come back from our winter break and then we have Hertha Berlin we have Bayern Munich and then Bayern Munich and then uh, we have Wolfsburg and we will probably in here I believe have the next round of the Champions League I think it will be the 9th and the 23rd or the 9th or the 10th and the 23rd and 24th I think is when we play the next round of the Champions League and next up we have Wolfsburg at home uh, we they're on the same number of points as us just we've got a bit better goal difference us, Leverkusen, uh, Wolfsburg and Mainz are all on 20 points. So this should be a, an interesting one. With a win with this one, we can potentially go up to third. We're in sixth. We can climb three places, provided that Mönchengladbach don't win, provided that Mönchengladbach lose, Union Berlin don't win, and Freiburg don't win. So we're at Signal Iduna Park for this one. We're at home to Wolfsburg. Let's go and get the win. Okay, so we got Berkey in goal, we're going Schultz, Kimpembe, Hommels and Meunier, Chan and Witzel, Delfeu, Royce and Sancho, and then Erling Haaland is up front. On the bench, we can see there we've got Bellingham, we've got Delaney, we've got Parslak. Wait, why did I put Parslak? I think we've got Togging Tor Hazard as well, so uh, yeah, we've got a, quite an attacking bench again. Um, they, Wolfsburg have got a decent side. Uh, Castiles is a good goalkeeper. And Babu Begnarak in the defence line, along with Roussillon. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be quite tough. Good ball into Emery Chan, finds Erling Haaland. 
Back to Emre Chan and Benrak with a good tackle. Right, Stefan up against Munier. Rushi on now. Manages to find Stefan. And Nico Schultz gets across there to block it. Veghorst is offside. Good save by Roman Berkey. Kim Pembe manages to find Thomas Munier. Jaden Sancho to Axel Witzel. Great ball for Marco Royce. He's going to square it. Surely a goal for Alan Holland. It is. And it's not offside, so play the music. So there we go, Erling Haaland's ninth goal of the season in the league. I know he's scored in just about every competition. Um, he scored a few, yeah, ninth goal in the Champions League. No, ninth goal in the league. He scored three in the Champions League, nine in the league. Here we go, Alan Haaland finds Emery Chan. Marco Royce goes for goal, good save by Castiles. Which, I don't know why it's having Sancho take it, but sure, we'll go with that. Mats Hummels can't quite manage to win the head. Joe Feu goes for goal, and it's over. Good header there by Munier. Royce wins the ball. He can find Erling Haaland. I think it's offside. He puts the ball in the net. 2 0. I think it's onside. It is. Play the music. This is why I always play with a high defensive line. Uh, you win the ball high up, you create chances like that, where it's just literally a through one arm and the goalkeeper, and that's 10 for the season for Alan Holland already. How many goals do you think Alan Holland will reach this season? Because so far, he's been very good. Two goals in this one, just before half time. And there we go, half time now. 2-0, two goals for Alan Haaland. As long as he's playing with Marco Royce, he will create chances. When we've got uh, Delaney or Chan uh, winning the ball, pressing high up along with Marco Royce, we win the ball back and we create chances like that. Now we will look to create some kind of an attack with Alan Haaland. Emery Chan to Erling Haaland. Plays it through Marco Royce, 3-0. Play the music! It's that combination, the three of them, uh, it was Emery Chan to Erling Haaland to Marco Royce. Whether it's Alan Hall, whether it's Emre Chan or uh, Thomas Delaney, whichever one of them is playing in that central midfield spot, uh, in the left central midfield spot, will always link up well with the, the other two going forwards. And there we have it. They brought on. Oh no, they've they've gone straight centre back, centre centre back. Right. Well, it looks like Kimpembe is down, but. It doesn't look like he's staying down. No, yes it does. And we've got an injury to Kimpembe. He's a player we signed at the beginning of the season, obviously. Um, yeah, not looking good. Probably should think about making some changes now. Uh, so we have a Kanji to come on for Kimpembe. So Bellingham's coming on. Giroud's coming on. And obviously, Akandi's coming on for the injured Kimpembe. So we're saving Royce, saving Haaland. But we're also saving Torgan Hazard for... Obviously, we're going to be playing Torgan Hazard against Club Bruges. Uh, so that's how Kimpembe's got his injury. It looks like it's a shoulder injury. Probably going to be a dislocated shoulder. Right, give us the ball back. There we go. Bednarek gives the ball straight to Roman Berkey. Oh god, the kanji has something to do immediately. This is 
probably the most serious chance that they've attacked that they've had. And it's going to be a corner. Here we go then. Having to defend a corner here. Uh, Hummels does well there. Yeah, Victor. Good save by Berkey. Very good. I mean, good positioning. Uh, it wasn't the most amazing save, but he had to get his positioning right for that one. So we will take that. And no idea what that was supposed to be. Giroud gets the ball away in the end. Right, here's Stefan. Good tackle there by Witzel, but the linesman gives the free kick. But it's full time. 3-0. Uh, we will very much take that one. Uh, yeah, good overall performance from, from everybody. I don't think that there was really a bad performance in that team. Um, Berkey obviously actually had some saves to make. Uh, in the end. And let's see how long this injury is for for Kimpembe. Two months. Dislocated shoulder. Okay, so we get one player back, one player is out with an injury. Okay, so we are playing in the Champions League next. Uh, we're going to do that one in the next episode. We have a message from Julian Brandt. He's 100% recovered from his injury. Um, I'm going to tell him it could take a little while. He's just come back from a broken toe, so he will be back in the lineup but not yet um, we, he, we, he may be on the bench for RB Leipzig I'm gonna leave the episode there thank you guys very much for watching please leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already please let me know what players you want me to sign in January as well do bear in mind I only have a budget of uh, 17 million euros hopefully I might get some from uh, getting through in the Champions League hopefully they'll give me a chunk of budget for that um, so that could help me to sign a few players in the meantime until the next video I will see you then